Hello ladies! Today's topic is about uh, my journey, what I have overcome in the last um, few years and um, where I have started so that you can maybe more um, associate yourself with me. So the areas I have improved first in my life and that started pretty early have been fitness and nutrition. So I have kind of always have been obsessed with fitness and nutrition and really wanted to um, have a nice body and know how to um, not only lose weight but have a lifestyle where I have um, mastered this so that I never feel hungry and still can keep a really um, um, slim body and um, yes just creating my dream fitness form so that was the first part that I have been working on and learned a lot and practice a lot and right now I'm at a point where I have automated all of this so I'm having my workout routine where I work out a few times a week and then I'm also having my nutrition routine. I've tried out many, many, many ways of eating from vegan, vegetarian, um, low carb and I kind of made a mix out of this for myself. Then, um, unfortunately, in my um, late teens and in the beginning of my 20s, I have been not following my intuition. I have been not following my desires. And this made me really sick. And I started being not only sick on my emotions, but also physically. So I manifested um, well, a chronic joint pain. So... Um, really similar to rheumatoid arthritis and um, I have been trying many many things to heal it um, done many changed my nutrition and lifestyle and this helped too and I've also overcome this so since one year I am joined more than one year now I'm being joint pain, pain free, but um, actually the big step came for me when I started hiring a coach and she helped me with um, my inner anxiety because I have been in a bad relationship too, where the dynamics have been off, I have been treated bad because I'm. this is what I was used to in my childhood. And so I have healed my anxiety to inner peace. I had so much head chatter, really a big bully in my head. Felt so frustrated. But now I can tell you that I have inner peace in my head. Most of the time I'm calm, just being able to enjoy the moment. And I'm so grateful for having my coach and for having myself that I've worked through this. And this is achievable and I would never believe this few years ago but this is achievable so never 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 give up and um, then I've also connected and embodied the feminine energy what's not only really good for dating because um, the relationship dynamics is, is nice and you enjoy and are able to have a long term healthy relationship but also for just for the life. I have embodied the feminine energy and I realize I'm being more and more able to manifest in a feminine way. So for example, let me start with my car. I thought I want this car, it's the price. But then a friend of mine offered me a car and I thought, well, I didn't choose it, but it's like the feminine art of leaning back and just came to me. So I accept it and I'm more than happy to have it. 
Lately I manifested my own flat and also in a really feminine way because I in the past I was really acting out of masculine. I wanted to chase a prize. Okay, this that I have to choose it, I have to choose it. But the flat I'm living in now chose me. The flat found me and I had to accept or reject. And luckily I've trained myself to do it in dating. So I was like, well, I'm the prize. That's kind of weird for flats. But well, I'm the prize in a city where there's not enough flats and everyone is like fighting for an inexpensive flats. But okay, I'm the prize. And luckily I could embody it. And therefore I accepted it. And I'm more than happy to have it. And um, last but not least is that I have worked on my abundant mindset only before I started coaching with my um, coach I had chronic fear of survival I had chronic thoughts that I can't um, that there's not enough money um, chronically I was fearful to lose money and it didn't matter if I had 10,000 euros in my bank account or five I felt really scared and anxious all the time and only with the help of my coach i could change this around so right now i'm pretty calm and money is coming in so actually for me i realized the feeling is the most important part because it did even when i had money on my bank account it didn't help me feel good and safe so therefore it's always the internal thoughts and feelings that count the most. Yeah, so this is um, kind of my uh, overcoming in the last few years. And this is what I'm able to teach you. And um, so if you're interested in a clarity call and um, to be talking to with me a little bit, just reach out to me and um, we can talk a little bit and then I would like to hear some wins from you because it's so important to live in the state of winners and I would also love to share with you some of mine and that are that even with other opportunities like people um, investing or believing in me I have again manifested working opportunities um, in some music parts in a feminine way so I wasn't like chasing auditioning I was just myself and they found me and therefore huh, we are feminine beings and most of women cause energy is actually feminine but we have been taught to behave masculine and that really burns out burns out our hormones and um, therefore embody the feminine energy and still be successful is um, the best thing i could ever achieve and i would love love to share more with you how to do it but for today we are done so thank you for a lot for watching and please share your wins with me in the comments down below.